Hey, hey, welcome back to Bite Size Media Making with CME. In this episode of Bite Size Media Making, we're going to go over color correcting using your nodes, but specifically what happens when you go into the Fusion page and you don't see those color corrections shifting through your video, even though you're making them on that interface. What happens here is really, really simple and it's a really quick fix, but if you don't know, then you're not going to see those edits on your video. So let's go into DaVinci Resolve and learn how to reconnect those nodes so that we're making sure we're getting those edits where we need them. Okay, so you're at the point in editing where you're ready to add some color corrections to your projects to give it a different feel. And when you go into the color page, it'll bring you to this interface where you can do a bunch of the color corrections for your video. Now here's your node, and this is what it should look like if all is well. A lot of the time though, while you're editing, some way, somehow, boop, this node all of a sudden disappears. And you probably don't notice or don't know how to fix it. And you start going in and adjusting your colors, but nothing is happening. You don't see any shifts in the color of the videos at all. I've had many a moments where I am scratching my head, just so perplexed as to what is happening. Why are there no color corrections being made? But in this case, I want you to notice that there is no node and go up to your grid, right click and click on that first option that says reset all nodes and this will bring you back to the original code which is this very simple basic one node process that is attached to its input and output that is what it should look like and once you have that reset node you can go back and start changing your colors up and you'll start noticing that color shift happening onto your video as well so again if you find yourself in the situation where your color correcting is moving in the wheels but not in your video make sure to reset your nodes so you get that original video back up and you can start editing and adjusting the colors to your liking we hope this is a super helpful bite-sized media making tip please like subscribe follow us for more and we'll see you next episode